Hello everyone, this is Dan Violet Sagmiller, the lead designer and developer for Warp Wars. I just wanted to let you know about some of the updates from Sprint 8. This is the background music. Just listen for a second. Alright, so what you're hearing right now is the background music that starts up at the beginning of the game. Right now, that's the only place I've put it. Uh, now, Chris is still going to be making some modifications to that, so there's going to be some changes. Uh, but at least we have some audio now just to get something out there. Alright, so I'm going to create a new user. I'll just call this user Artie. And I'm going to try logging in with Artie. Okay, login filled, because Artie isn't real yet. Let's just set the password and sign up and then log in let's add some things uh, first off things have changed in here there's more um, so before we had the village general house the village workshop and the village garden uh, let's try a workshop this is kinda what we saw before as well the white frame house and everything like that we do have texture on the village general house and the problem that we have with this is look at the lighting over here the lighting on the ground is significantly brighter than the lighting on the house we're trying to figure out exactly what's going wrong with it um, but we haven't been able to resolve that yet um, anyway but we're going to continue looking into that to try to get a better lighting arrangement between the house and here because honestly when you're looking at the brightness of the texture this is supposed to be a light tan roof a thatch roof um, and it shows up as kind of a dark brown. All right. Now we also added another textured item. Uh, that is the garden. So let me add the garden. It's a little hard to see in this, but a lot of the details that show up. Let me just go ahead and zoom in on this. You can see there's a lot of detail that goes into to what Chris had. Uh, sorry, not Chris. To what Herman had put into this. All right which is actually really cool. I mean, there's all sorts of different plants. We've got pumpkins, something with purple leaves over here, um, a lot of different colors and shapes, even leaves sticking up. And there's a lot of leaves depending on which angle you look at this from. All right, so I'm gonna go back into the regular game. And there's another interesting feature that we added. This was not intended to be added this time, um, but we added the, the mine. The mine is very unique and different from all the other items. In most video games, when you start playing and you add something that shows an underground section over a terrain surface like this, what do they do? They actually make it rise up above the ground and then put a door on it or something like that. Something where you can't see that it actually can't go underground, that there's a tiled surface underneath it. Um, but that's not what it's like here. So here we can see, all right, it's going underground. Maybe that's kind of illusionary. But let's take a look at this from another point of view. Look at that. It actually goes underground. What I've ended up doing is removing one of the tiles underneath this, and the model covers up the edges. This makes it so we can provide an actual 3D base that goes below the tiled ground. Uh, we'll probably be experimenting more on that with uh, various environmental objects and uh, different types of buildings and what happens with them and how they show up. Uh, so hopefully we'll be seeing some more with that effect because it's I think it's kind of a cool effect. Now we also found out another significant limitation of our code. Uh, when we add stuff, let's go ahead and add just uh, Village General House. There's no shadow. There's no shadow that shows up. We can see that the light shines a little brighter on this side of the roof than the other side. And now when we move it over here, the other side is darker. But we're not actually getting shadows cast past it. So we can see that there's light coming in on this side, but no shadow over here, even though the whole side of this house is dark. And we also found out that that's a limitation of the free version of Unity. Uh, anything I've tried turning on or setting up for the shadows are rendering the shadows stops me and tells me that I have to get the pro version. Uh, so that might become part of the updates later on after we start a Kickstarter project. Uh, and hopefully we'll get some funding and can make some significant updates just from the fact that we got the first amount of licensing purchased for this. Alright, I'll talk to you later.